de los hello. Hello. Good evening, Sarita. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Welcome to a new week. Uh, and Graciela, welcome to. Good evening, teacher. It's a pleasure to hear you. And Iris, too, welcome. Thanks. You're welcome. Iris, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Open your camera. One moment. One moment. One moment. <laughs> okay, no problem. No problem. I'll wait for you. Good evening, Delmi. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. I like the picture of your, your camera. That's your daughter, right? Okay. Your, your daughter. <laughs> In the picture of your camera, Delmi, is your daughter, su hija. Sí, yes. Okay. Okay, nice. She resembles, means, se parece a usted. She resembles you. <laughs> <laughs> Un poco. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Welcome, Walter. Welcome. It's a pleasure to see you again, Walter. Hello, good evening. It's a pleasure. Let me see Walter Bonisha, right? Okay, so let's start early, right? Let's permit the other students to incorporate later, right? Okay. Uh, okay, last week we finished with sections one, two, and three, right? Yeah. Today we're going to start with section number four, right? And next week, section number five. And then we finish, right? Finish. And next week we're going to make the final test, the final and definitely test. <laughs> okay. And um, the the recommendation is that if you have questions, uh, send messages to the group. Right. Uh, sometimes I receive personal messages, but uh, sometimes it's better if I explain in in the group. Right. Mejor explicarlo en el grupo. Right. Because. Uh, the explanation that is for Sara is for Graciela and for Walter and for everybody, right? So that's my recommendation. But if you say, no, teacher, yo quiero que usted me ayude porque me da pena, okay. The idea is to help you, right? And I'm here all the time to support you, para ayudarlo siempre, okay? And uh, don't forget that uh, we have to finish the exercise before the class, right? In theory, hay que terminar el ejercicio antes de clase, before the class, right? So when we are in the class, we only review and check the mistake, right? And give extra explanation. Vamos a dar explicaciones extras. Pero ya tiene que estar terminado el ejercicio. Today, for example, we are going to cover two. Uh, 4.2 and 4.3. 4.2 and 4.3 today. We're going to cover this. We're going to talk about food. <laughs> okay. So if you like food, so today is the day, right? Now, welcome back to Brian. Gabriel Hernandez. Welcome hello. to the class. Hello, hello. Flor, welcome, Flor. It's a pleasure to see you, Flor. <laughs> hello, welcome. And Gloria, too. Welcome, Gloria. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Good hello, night. hello. Good evening. 
Roberto Quijano, Miss Quijano, welcome, Roberto. Hi, always, teacher. Good always, evening. Good evening. Always on time, eh? Always on time. Yeah. That's it, okay. right? Okay, okay. Xiomara Guerra, welcome, Xiomara. Welcome to the class, Xiomara. Hi, teacher. Hi, it's a pleasure to see you, right? And Suleima too. Suleima, welcome. Uh, Suleima, what is your last name? Mande. Your last name? Apellido? Magaña. Magaña, okay, thank you. Magaña Martinez. Okay, thank you. Vaya. Okay, mm -hmm. and that's it right now. Let's start. And today, basically, we're going to start only with a vocabulary, right? And we're going to check the power presentation. PowerPoint, sorry, presentation. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Who is it? Carlos, right? Welcome, Carlos. Hi, Hi teacher. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Okay, now let's start with the with the presentation. Give me a second. Now, can you see the presentation? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, yes. good. Let, let's start. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so today we're going to cover two, two parts. Word power fools. So full. Uh, the use of some and any with count and non-count nouns. Nombres contables y nombres no contables, right? And we're going to practice a conversation. The name of the conversation is How about some sandwiches? Mm -hmm. Those are the, the, the topics for today, right? Today is August 17th. So let's begin. Right, the lesson objective for today. Uh, let me see. Brian, please, can you please read the objective for the class, please? Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary related to food. You will also learn how to express the food that you like and dislike. Thank you very much, right? So today, the food pyramid, right? It's the one that goes to the bad food, la comida que nos cae mal, right? Down, down, down to the best food, right? Okay? And also, you're going to express what you like or you dislike about food. For example, me, I like chicken, right? And I don't like um, pacaya, for example, right? So likes and dislikes for today. And uh, this is the vocabulary for the for the platform platform. Sorry, for the platform. Uh, here we have the first group, right? We have um, well, we have six groups of food, six group, right? This is number one: fat, grasa, right? Oil, aceite, and sugar. Sugar, right? Super. Yes, that's it, right? And for some people that speak English, uh, if you love someone, you can say sugar, my sugar. Huh? Uh, si ustedes ama una persona, a su esposa, a su esposo, right? You have to say, uh, hey, my sugar, right? <laughs> okay, but in this case, we're going to talk about food, right? And we have this example, cream, butter, candy, this is candy about the, the food, right? No, the program, right? Candy. No, no, this is food, <laughs> right? Okay. Oil, potato chips, right? That is like we normally know as uh, churritos, uh, papitas, you know, et cetera, et cetera, right? Good. And now please listen and repeat, please. Cream. Cream. Okay, your microphone's off, please. <laughs> microphone off, right? Thank you. Now, continue. Butter. Candy. Oil. Potato chips. Good. Now, let's go to the other group, right? The other group is meat and other proteins. Meat and other proteins. 
that's the second group, right? In the in the pyramid. There is a pyramid, so this is the second group. And then here we have fish, beans, nuts, chicken, eggs, beef. Good. Now listen again and repeat after me, please. Fish. Beans, nuts, chicken, eggs, beef. Okay, now, do you have any question about this vocabulary? Questions? Uh, the meaning of nuts? Nuts are all the seeds, right? Semillas. All the seeds, like, okay. you know, peanut, uh, I don't know how to say marañón, uh, cushu, uh, marañón, um, uh, almond, almond, uh -huh. I say peanut, right? Okay. Uh, almond is uh, almendra, right? So all the nuts that are really good for your body, right? Anti-cancer, right? The nuts. And beef is like mucha carne, right? Beef is is not pork. Oink, oink, oink. Or 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 the 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 poultry. Poultry is the aves, right? Poultry like 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 duck, uh, turkey, doves, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So in this case, beef is related only for the moo, right? Okay, now let's go to the group number three. The group number three, it's dairy, right? Dairy are all the products that come from the milk, right? Milk, okay? So for example, milk, obviously, yogurt, cheese, right? And so repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Milk, yogurt. Cheese. Okay. Now, let's go to the next one, right? Vegetables. Vegetables. Broccoli. Carrots. Lettuce. Tomatoes. Potatoes. Mangueros. Ah, oh, no, mangueros, no. Sorry, excuse me. Okay, now, please. Uh, Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Broccoli. Carrots. Lettuce. Tomatoes. Potatoes. Okay, wait a minute. I have a message. Eh, tengo problemas con mi internet. Jennifer Duarte. Um, Uh, ok, Jennifer, espero que por lo menos nos escuche en la clase y se le estabilice el, su internet. De todas formas, ya le vamos a poner uh, asistencia, Jennifer. Jennifer Duarte. Ok. Thank you for your report, Jennifer. Ok, let's continue, please. So, we have four groups. Now, let's go to the group number five, right? Group number five is fruit. Fruit, right? Ok, very good. Ahí está Jennifer con otro mensaje que sí nos entiende. Dice, que bueno, que bueno. Ok, now, fruit. Uh, for fruit, we have oh, cream. Sorry, there is a mistake. It's not cream, right? Excuse me. Eh, por favor, eliminemos aquí cream de... <laughs> no va a cream, ¿verdad? Ok, banana, apples, oranges... Strawberries, mangoes, okay? Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Banana, apples. Don't say apple, right? It's apples. It is not only apple. No, no, it's uh, uh, apples. Oranges. Strawberries, 
Okay, and mangoes. There are many fruits that are pronounced like Latin, right? Mango, papaya, okay, cincuya. Okay, now let's go to the grains, right? Grains. Rice, crackers, noodles, pasta, cereal, and bread, right? Now, repeat after me, please. Rice, crackers, noodles, pasta, cereal, bread. Good. Now, do you have any question about the, the last groups? We have... Uh, I have the question, teacher. Dairy, vegetable, and we have um, the grain, right? And the fruit, right? Yes, Carlos, right? Uh -huh. Please, yes, Carlos. sir. Uh, how do you say noodles in Spanish? Ah, noodles is the, the one that you yeah. have in Maruchan. Oh, noodles. okay. Fideos, right? Okay. Thanks. Noodles. Yes, the, the spaghetti is, is like thicker, right? It's un poco más grueso el espagueti. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the difference between noodles and... Okay. Okay, okay teacher, and, thanks. And, and noodles. I mean noodles and, and, and spaghetti, excuse me. Okay, good. Okay. Any other question? Okay, you. You're welcome. Any question? Okay, so let's continue, please. Uh, now we're going to go to the... To the, to the platform, right? To the platform. Give me a second. Here we have one, two, three. This is the one. Uh, no, sorry, excuse me. Um, yes, this is the one. Mm -mm. Sorry, sorry. I have problems. I don't know what happened. Excuse me. Give me a second. I will. I will look for the. Uh -huh. Okay, here. Okay, thank you for your your patience. Mm -hmm. This is the one. Ah, oh, come on, I don't know what happened. Sorry. What happened today? Here, okay. Finally. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for your patience. Good. Now, uh, here we have 4.1, 4 right? Powerful. So here we have the first example, right? The first video. Let's watch it together. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You'll also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food pyramid. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar, cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips, meat and other protein, fish, beans, nuts, chicken, eggs, beef, Dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, fruit, 
bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, vegetables. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello? Hello. Hoy hello. Sí. Uh, hello oh, teacher. Se, se fue la señal, se fue la señal, así que van a disculpar. Yeah, teacher. Van a disculpar que se fue la señal, pero ya estamos de nuevo, ¿verdad? <ríe> ok, uh, okay. ¿me okay. pueden escuchar todos? Sí. Hey, yes. No yes, yes, teacher. Ahorita yes. Vamos, vamos a ver. One, two, three, yes. one, two, three. ¿Se escucha todavía cortado? Hello. Graciela, ¿me escucha bien? No lo puedo hacer, teacher. Sorry. Parece que estamos teniendo problemas con la señal. Eh, Graciela, ¿me escucha? No se escucha bien, teacher. No se escucha bien. Bueno, no, cortado, cortado. Creo que es la señal, la señal es la que nos está fallando porque muchos se han salido. Sí, el inter, lo más seguro, Ticha. Eh, ¿Ahorita me escuchan? ¿Uno? 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 Ahorita sí, pero se ve como bien, con eco, con eco. Sí, se escucha. Uh, ¿Y el video que hoy había? No se vio, no se No, 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 se, no, se, vio. no se le escucha bien. Mm, ok, entonces... Voy a poner otra vez el vocabulario del PowerPoint para mientras se estabiliza la señal. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok. O, o ya los estoy escuchando mejor a ustedes, pero vamos a ver para mientras. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ok. Um, ahora, ¿cómo estamos con el sonido? Igual, ¿El sonido? no se oye mucho. ¿Todavía no se escucha bien? Ahorita sí. Se les Ahorita bien. sí. Ahorita sí se escucha. Sí, sí, sí. Ok. Voy a adelantarme con una diapositiva. Y me dicen si se escucha. Vocabulary. Okay. Foods. Okay. Countdowns. ¿Se escucha? Read and listen. Yes. Yes, ok. Good. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, entonces. Regresamos entonces donde estábamos. Sorry. Sorry for the interruption, right? Okay, vamos a regresar a la plataforma. Y vamos a seguir con el video. Ok. Vamos a ver por acá. You'll also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food pyramid. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar. Cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips. Meat and other protein. Fish, beans, nuts, chicken, eggs. Beef, dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, vegetables, broccoli, carrots. Lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, grains, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. Now, I would like for you to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. To do this, we're going to express the food that we like and don't like. We will practice each section of the food pyramid. Let me give a couple of examples. For the first section, fat, oil, sugar, I like cream, butter, and oil. I don't like candy, and potato chips. The idea here is to practice all the vocabulary. So while you may like all the stuff from this food pyramid, I would like for you to think about your friends, family, and co-workers. And think about their likes and dislikes. Um, Open your cameras, please. Open your cameras. Yeah, thank you very much. Now, uh, I need you to tell me an example, right? You, you saw in the platform, I like and I don't like, right? And let's start talking about uh, the first group, right? Fat, oil, and sugar. Now, I'm going to start with Iris. Please, Iris, two sentences. Iris, I like and I don't like. Okay, and the group of food is sugar, fat, and oil, right, Iris? Okay, come on, please. Your example, please. Teacher. Yes? You can hear me? Teacher. Yes, yes. Carlos, yes, I, I can hear no, you. Carlos. No, no. Me escucha. No, teacher. Se corta, se corta, se corta, se corta. Se corta todo, teacher. Ahorita sí, pero cuando usted habla por momentos se queda como oh, que se cortara. Mm, ok, uh, bueno, 
entonces vamos a hacer una cosa. Yo creo que es con la conexión de Inter. Uh, sí, no sé qué pasará porque yo tengo 30, 30 megas y, y no tendría que estarme fallando. Uh, vamos a hacer una cosa, Carlos. Eh, usted va a ser mi monitor porque veo que usted tiene buena señal sí, ahí. No, no, no. ¿Sí? Entonces, uh, okay. voy a ir hablando más pausado. ¿Ok? Y usted me dice si no se entiende nada, Carlos. A usted le voy a estar preguntando. ¿Ok? No, nada. No se oye nada, Carlos. Es que se, el, uh, sí, hay momentos que sí escucho, pero cuando de repente se traba y ya no se escucha muy bien. Mucho cortado. Cuando se está hablando. Y si se desconecta y nos volvemos a conectar. Es que lo que pasa es que la señal no la tengo yo, sino que la, la tienen desde la oficina. Entonces, si yo me desconecto, ya no puedo entrar. Entonces, voy a, voy a revisar un segundito si hay algún aparatito por acá en, la, en mi casa funcionando y voy a desconectar todito. Esperen un segundito. Ok. Ok, Tienen internet funcionando ahorita. Tienen que desconectarse un ratito nada más. Ah, va. Sofía, que se desconecta. Ah, va. Ok, vamos a tratar de seguir. Vamos a tratar de okay. seguir uh, y vamos a ir pausado, ¿ok? Uh, Iris, ¿can you hear me, Iris? Yes. Yes. Ok. Yes. Two examples, two examples. I like and I don't like. Del primer grupo. Fat, oil, and sugar. The first group is... Ok, entonces voy a compartir pantalla otra vez para ponérselos nuevamente. Yeah, yeah. Fine or sugar. Uh, I oh. like cream mm -hmm. and candy. Okay. I don't like uh, potato For chip. Potato chips. Potato chip. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Now let me see. Let me see. Uh, Christopher. Christopher. Me escucha, Christopher. Sorry, Christopher Sánchez. <laughs> ah, okay. Christopher Sánchez. <laughs> Christopher okay. Sánchez. Yes. Now give me two examples using the second group, right? El segundo grupo. El segundo grupo. Meat and other proteins. Give me two examples, Christian. Me voy a dar dos ejemplos. Afirmative and negative. Ok. Um, I like an egg. Mm -hmm. And I dislike fish. I dislike fish or I don't like fish. Okay. Good. Eh, Carlos, Carlos Domínguez, ¿cómo estamos con el sonido? ¿Ya mejoró? Ahorita sí, teacher, ya se escucha okay, mejor. Sorry, perdón que le diga a usted, Carlos, pero verdad Yo veo que usted no. se una señal. No, teacher, no hay problema. Ok, thank you. So, no continue, problem, teacher. Let's continue. Ok, uh, now please, eh, Delmi Carranza. Por ahí me escribió un mensaje, Delmi, que no escuchaba bien, pero vamos a ver si... Si ahora me escucha bien. Delmi. Delmi. Hello. Ah, ok. Sí me escucha ahora, ¿verdad? Yeah. Ok. Give me an example. Yes. Affirmative and negative. ¿De qué, ¿De qué grupo? De dairy. Sorry, excuse me. Dairy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. I like uh, milk, uh, milk, milk, and mm -hmm, milk and cheese. Cheese. 
And I don't like. I not like it. I don't. Uh, listen, listen. Yo. Wait. Listen. I don't like. Repeat, please. I don't like. I don't like. Uh-huh. Uh, yogurt. Yogurt. Okay. Thank you, Delmi. Thank you very much. Now, with fruit. Uh, Flor, can you help me, Flor? Flor? Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you, Flor. Uh, I feel nervous, okay. right? Me siento un poquito nervioso. Siento que se me va a caer el internet, pero... <laughs> Sigamos por aquí. Okay, thank you, Flor. <laughs> uh, Ruth, right? Again, affirmative and negative, please. Se cayó. Hello? ¿De qué grupo, teacher? Ruth. Ruth. Hello? Ruth. Okay, okay. Okay. I like bananas. I like apples. Um, I don't like orange. Okay. Thank and you. I don't like strawberries. No strawberries, no oranges. Thank you. And apples and bananas, yes, right? Okay, now, the other group, vegetables. Yes. Uh, Graciela, can you hear me? No, sorry, Gabriela. Gabriela, please. Hello. Hello. Now, vegetables. I like and I don't like. I like broccoli. I like carrot, I like lettuce, I don't like tomatoes, and don't like potatoes. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Gloria Escalante. Gloria, please. Can you hear me, Gloria? Yes, yes. Okay, teacher. thank you, thank you. Uh, grains, granos, right? Please, okay. affirmative and negative. Uh, I like bread, I like cereal, and I don't like rice and crackers. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Now, let's continue with the, the other video, right? Uh, but before okay. that, we're going to check the, the, the PowerPoint presentation. The PowerPoint. Okay. Uh, Carlos, ¿cómo estamos con el sonido? Carlos. Carlos. Ahorita estamos good bien. Teacher. Estamos good bien. teacher. Good, sí. good. Okay, good, good. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Ok. Give me a second. Ahí estamos ya. Ok. The second part for today is... This, right? The second objective, please. Uh, who's going to help me? Graciela, please. Can you read the second objective for tonight? Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you will learn how to use the expression some and any. Good. For tonight, we have vocabulary, right? And non-count and count nouns, and also some and any. Como usar el some, como usar any, right? Okay. Right. Now, let's start with uh, vocabulary, right? Listen, please. Vocabulary. Foods. Count nouns. Read and listen. One. An egg. Two. An onion. Three. An apple. Four. An orange. Five. A lemon. Six. A banana. Seven. A tomato. Eight. A potato. Nine. A pepper. 10. Beans. 11. Peas. Now listen again and repeat. An egg. An onion. 
An apple. An orange. A lemon. A banana. A tomato. A potato. A pepper. Beans. Okay, now let's go to the second part. The first part were countable, right? Let me show you again. The egg, the onion, the beans, the peas, all of these are countable. It means that you can say one, two, three, four, five, etc., etc. And are also separable. Los podemos separar y los podemos contar, right? So that we call count noun, right? Vocabulary. Count nouns. Now the second one. These are non-count nouns. No count. No se pueden contar, right? Please, pay attention. Vocabulary. Drinks and foods. Non-count nouns. Read and listen. Drinks. One. Water. Two. Coffee. Three. Tea. Four. Juice. Five. Milk. Six. Soda. Foods. Seven. Bread. Eight. Pasta. Nine. Rice. Ten. Cheese. Eleven. Meat. Twelve. Chicken. Thirteen. Fish. 14. Oil. 15. Butter. 16. Sugar. 17. Salt. 18. Pepper. Now listen again and repeat. Water. Coffee. Tea. Juice. Milk. Soda. Bread. Pasta. Rice. Cheese. Meat. Chicken. Fish. Oil. Butter. Sugar. Salt. Pepper. Okay. So these are non con right? Uh, in general, uh, liquids, right, are considered no count, right? Todos los líquidos son considerados como no contables, right? Soda, meal, juice, tea, chuco, atol, right? Everything, right? And food, food in general, right? When you see chicken and you can say, hey, pero los pollitos que no se pueden contar. Oh, yes. Pero cuando ya hablamos de pollo como comida, it's no contable, right? The same fish, right? If you have a tank with fish, right? Tiene una pecera con tanques, you can say one fish, two fish, three fish. Pero ya cuando es comida, ya no se, ya no se cuenta, okay? Good. Now, uh, with this information, uh, we can check here uh, how to use some. No, no. Okay. I can hear you, teacher. Carlos. Carlos. No se, no se escuchó bien, teacher. Se cortó. Uh, la, explicación la explicación que hizo de, de que, le, sí, se cortó, se cortó. Ok, uh, lo voy a repetir, no, listen. repetir más lento, ok. Eh, Ahorita me dice, no se escucha nada, tichero. Nada, nada, uno, 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 dos, uno, uno, dos, tres, nada, Carlos, no, nada. 
Ok. Uh, le voy a poner algo para que lean. No, 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 no. no se escucha nada. No se comprende. Ok. Nada, teacher. But you can no, see teacher. me. Pero me pueden ver. Me pueden ver. Yes. Ahorita sí, hasta, ¿Sí? hasta ahorita. Sí. Ahorita, teacher. Real. Vamos a hacer una cosa. Cuando no se escuche nada, le voy a escribir acá. Yes. ¿Ok? Porque estamos mal con el internet de ahora. <ríe> I'm sorry. Ha de ser en mi colonia que algo ha pasado por la lluvia. Sorry. Uh, pero cuando yo les ponga algo que no me escuchen, mm -hmm. les voy a poner algo que leer. Yes. Good. Uh, rapidito explico esto. Uh, líquidos y masa en general, con carne, no contable. Como el pollo, el queso, el arroz, right? Etcétera, etcétera. El arroz, demasiado, no se puede contar. Los frijoles, sí. They are contable. Pero el arroz, no. The rice, no. Ok. And, eh, les decía que el pollo, los animalitos vivos, sí son contables. Pero cuando es comida, ya no es contable. No contable, right? Ok. Y aquí estamos con el uso de some en any. Si se corta, pues léanlo, ¿verdad? Lean la, la parte que está aquí. Ok. Use some and any to describe an indefinite number or amount. Some apples. Algunas manzanas. ¿Cuántas? No sé, pero son algunas. So, that is indefinite, right? Are there any oranges? ¿Hay algunas naranjas? Bueno, no sé. Puede ser que sean tres, pueden ser que sean veinte. I don't know, right? And... No contable. Para los no contables también son coffee. No sabemos cuánto. Una libra de café, dos libras, I don't know, right? Some. Entonces utilizamos some y any para cosas indefinidas. ¿Ok? Usamos some with non counts with plural, right? Siempre que el nombre uh, no sea contable, vamos a usar some. Algo de leche, son milk. Y cuando el nombre sea contable y sea plural, vamos a usar son. Son bananas. Incorrecto, son banana. No. Carlos, ¿cómo estamos con el sonido? Bien, ok, sigamos, ok. Uh, son es para plural y son es para no contable también, ok. En afirmativo, affirmative, right? Affirmative. Ahora, en negativo vamos a usar any. También en no contables. No quiero algo de queso. No quiero algo de queso. I don't, I don't want any cheese. And we don't need any apples. Entonces, cheese es no contable y apples es contable plural. Contable plural, ¿ok? Resumiendo. Son para afirmativo no contable. Any para negativo no contable. Son para afirmativo contable. Y any para negativo contable, ¿ok? Ah, y en preguntas... Podemos usar los ambos. Podemos decir, do you need any cookies? ¿Quiere algunas galletitas? Do you need some cookies? Entonces, en preguntas podemos usar any and some. Ok, again. Some es para afirmativo. Any es para preguntas. Some, y, no, perdón, perdón. Some es para afirmativo. Any es para negativo. Y ambos se usan en preguntas. ¿Ok? Som afirmative, any negative, som en any in questions. ¿Ok? Good. Ahora vamos a terminar la clase con viendo la plataforma, el video, right? Let me see. 
to the video. I don't know, I don't know. Tonight's not my night, right? Esta noche no es mi noche. Sorry. Um, vamos a, a terminar esto. Ok, aquí estamos ya. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Vamos a dejar los comentarios para mañana, ¿verdad? Mañana vamos a, a leer juntos los comentarios, hacer correcciones. Ahora vamos a la segunda parte, al segundo video. Of all the things that you need. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Eh, Carlos, ¿se escucha el video? Carlos? Sí. Yes, teacher. Se escucha. Yes, okay. teacher. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Let's continue. Additionally, yes. you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How about some sandwiches? Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm. How about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade, Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches, non-count nouns, bread, lemonade, specific, I'm eating an egg, let's get some bread, general, eggs are good for you, bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question, 
do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. I would like for you to look into your fridge and make a list of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the grocery store. For example, I need some eggs. I don't need any milk. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Teacher, tienes silenciado el micrófono. Activa el micrófono, teacher. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hoy me ha pasado de todo. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so we have two tasks, right? Tenemos dos tareas. First is um, the first video. 4.1 is I like and I don't like. Me van a escribir en, en el video, en el discussion, ejemplos de oraciones con I like and I don't like. Y en el segundo video me van a poner I need and I don't need. You open your fridge, right? Van a ir a abrir su refrigeradora, por favor. No vamos a comernos ese sorbete que tenemos desde el domingo. Por favor, estamos a dieta. Pero me abren la refri y vean qué cosas necesitan. Y con base a eso me van a poner I need. Ok, y si tienen tomatoes, por ejemplo, entonces, I don't need tomatoes, por ejemplo, ok. Esa va a ser la, 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 las tareas que tenemos. Ok, y... Um, Se congeló, teacher. Otra vez. Sí. <ríe> Sorry. Uh, Ahora. A algunos de ustedes los veo que se detienen y luego siguen. Hello. Carlos. Hello, hello. 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 Hoy sí, hoy sí. Hello, por un momento. Teacher. Sí. Eh, ¿Me escucha, teacher? Sí, sí. ¿Entendieron la tarea? Porque la voy a escribir. Hello, hello. En el WhatsApp, WhatsApp. Teacher. No listen, teacher. Okay, wait, I will write. Teacher. Yes, 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 yes. Teacher is gone. What's up? Hi, teacher. It's raining so much. What's up? What's up? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hi. Teacher. Yes. Hoy sí me escuchan. Yes. One, 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 two. Hello. My microphone. Teacher, en cámara lento. Aquí. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Good evening. WhatsApp. En el WhatsApp. Okay. Ah, okay. Le voy a escribir en el WhatsApp okay. la tarea. Ok, teacher. Ok, okay teacher. Ok, teacher. Ok, teacher. I'm sorry. Good night. Eh, Good night. Good night. Si hay alguna otra pregunta, solo se me quedan los de Holcim. Holcim. Holcim, ¿me escuchan? Okay. 
Bye, teacher. Yes, Bye. Ok, voy a tomar la foto. Ok, puerta. teacher, aquí yes. estamos esperando la foto. Okay. Yes, otro. teacher. I'm sorry, ahorita vamos aquí a... Aquí estamos. Vamos a la picture. Ok. Regáleme un segundito, vamos a, a poner aquí la cámara. Ok. Permítame un segundito, que hasta esto me está fallando ahora. Nos avisa usted. Tío. Sí, yo les aviso, permítame, que hasta la cámara me está fallando aquí. Ah, ok, este no fue nuestro día, <ríe> mi día. No. Ok, ready? Oh. One, two, three. Ok, ahí los tengo ya capturados. Sorry, I'm sorry for the inconvenience, yeah. right? Espero que mañana haya mejor internet. Okay, okay, have a good night. God bless you. Goodbye. Okay. Okay. Good, good night. night. See you tomorrow, teacher.